Hey, well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody's having a great day, enjoying themselves, eating well, staying safe, staying motivated, staying encouraged, staying inspired, and encouraging, inspiring, and motivating others to do good. <laughs> I'm doing okay, but I wanted to come on because, man, I can't believe my life. No, it's it's okay, but but I wanted to share, I guess, share how I, uh, my method to the uh, housekeeping, you know, for us domestic engineers, male or female, and um, get some tips on even how you do yours if you you know you have any good tips for us. But so I, you know, every it's one like one. Some people do like a spring cleaning uh, once per quarter. I mean, once per quarter. Uh, you know, once in the spring, we do ours once per quarter. So that's like four times. We do the deepest cleaning, you know, um, you know, the deepest cleaning, and then we maintain that, you know, uh, maintain that cleaning or whatever. So, you know, that's what I do. It's just, it's this time, you know, right now. So I got it, getting it done and whatever. So I'm on my, my last lap, you know what I mean? And the way I do it is I, I kind of, I take down all of the, uh, I take up, I should say, all of like the washable rugs, the wash the rugs that can be uh, laundered, you know, the, the smaller ones, um, you know, your uh, rugs, I kind of uh, take them up um, because they don't go back on the floor until I'm completely done finish with everything and that's sort of my incentive to get done quick because <laughs> I I want those rugs back on the floor because they're not just rugs but uh, for protecting the floor but they're decor and I you know I love to look at them because some of them have flowers in them or whatever so I like seeing them <laughs> and the colors or whatever so that's my incentive so then I, I start at the ceiling you know go go I clean down the ceiling clean down the walls the baseboards etc then I kind of go to the hard surface furniture, you know, the things that need dusting or need furniture polish, go over those. Then I, you know, go to the soft furniture, uh, the soft furnishing, um, <clears throat> you know, your upholstered items and, you know, um, your pillows, stuff like that. I kind of vacuum all of those out, you know, vacuum all of the furniture and vacuum all of the, you know, the pillows, pillows that can't be washed. Now, some pillows can be washed. Some pillows cannot be, but the ones that can be uh, washed, they get washed. Then, the, um, then the uh, you know, uh, then uh, I vacuum the ones that can't. So then I, last but not least, well, it's really not last, last. Uh, but I do all of my floors. I do, you know, all of the sweeping, all of the vacuuming, all of the, the mopping, you know, or yeah, I have a machine too that I scrub my floor with, or I'll use my, um, Really, I don't. I don't use my uh, my steam, my hot steam uh, machine. I normally use that during maintenance, but I don't normally use it for cleaning, deep cleaning. So I got all my floors done except for this time. Normally, I, I clean all the floors. You know, I mop them all, then I let that dry, and then I go back over it with a to sanitize them, like with a vinegar, alcohol mixture you know with some uh, a little uh, essential oil in it and stuff like that just go over it like that with something you know some kind of sanitizer any kind of sanitizer so I, but i didn't do that this time i just did my mopping and i put my um and the last thing i really do is take down my all of the window coverings um all of the window coverings and i throw those in the washing machine and then I, you know, when I take them out, after I take them out, I just hang them up. I don't dry them in the dryer or let them dry. I put them straight back on the windows. <laughs> no dryer needed. <laughs> so like I was saying, this time I didn't sanitize. But Lord, I had finished, you know, doing all of the, um, all of the floors, you know, <laughs> And I wake up this morning, I, I was getting ready to go to my garden, so, and I kind of felt something sticky on the floor, and I, or, or something. I said, hmm, something's wet here. I, I thought I washed, washed my hands and uh, didn't dry them. Something happened. I, I just left it at that because I was the only one home. So I said, okay, well, this must be me, whatever it is. 
because everybody else was gone. So then I, I went and then I came back and I'm, I said well, to investigate. I'm like, well, because my then my shoe felt sticky. I was like, uh uh, what is now? What in the world is this? And I look, child, I had some a, purchased a lot of watermelons because I gave some to, out to neighbors and I had kept uh, like three or four for myself, but two of them have been sitting here for real. It's, they have been sitting here. Honey, one of them just want to ooze out all its insides. And it oozed out all over. Well, not all over the floor, but still, I have just did the floor, okay? And my goodness, this thing didn't ooze out all over the floor. I was like, oh my goodness. But thank God, it's kind of contained in one area. But the thing is, the thing is so doggone sticky. So I got to clean that up. I'm like, oh my goodness, what in the world? But it is well. It is well. It is what it is. What it is. So those, that's how. That's my method. You know how I. You know there's some, might be a few other things in, intertwined because I also spray our house for insects. You know when I do that uh, as well, and I only do that like every two, two months or some two and a half months just to spray, and and just make sure everybody that should be outside let them stay outside. You know what I mean. But yeah, that was my little. Uh, my little story time for today or my little my little life for today so anyway those are some things like i said i do the you know uh the way i the method in which i do start from the top and try to work my way down but anyway if you have any tips for us let us know what it is that you do <laughs> because we you know anything that makes housework easier because i'm one i don't i don't like housework like housework because i know some in 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 some ways i don't like it because i don't like cleaning up behind people and i don't know if that's good or bad but i don't i don't like cleaning up behind people. i don't like for people to do things because i see that in some homes like if i go someplace or if i'm not necessarily a place but like not necessarily a home excuse me but it could be a office building or um uh, an organization or something like that because so you know some organization they have kitchens and they'll have a sign s stated whatever you use you know wash it and put it back oh my goodness why they don't do that that uh, unearths that unearths it unnerves me a bit it's like why why do you do this because who is going to be able to who's going to pick who's going to clean up behind them and then it, it's going to be me because if I see it, I, I want. I'm going to say something too, but I, I don't. It, it's a. It's on. You know, because you have. You probably left a, 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 a. What do you call those things? Sponge, a soapy sponge in the sink, wet. You know that's going to start smelling or something. Come on now, or and dishes too. You know, don't leave that kind of stuff. So I don't like that. I don't like cleaning up behind people, and I think everybody should clean up behind themselves and do their part. Mm mm. You know that 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 kind of that kind of thing. Now, if you have somebody a, a child, but now the child, depending on the age, you still are teaching them to clean up behind themselves because you don't you don't want to be running behind your children all their life. You got other things to do. You know you you got things to do. You know what I mean? You know, uh, you know spouses and, and and things like that and and whatever. But yeah, that that one thing I, I'm always like mm mm. You know, there's signs posted everywhere. Come on now, let's do this. And then it is that is that an indication, uh, an in indication of how you keep your home. You know, is this your life? Because I mean, if you're doing it outside, you must be doing it inside too. You know. But anyway, I digress. But anyway, I just want to share you guys my love nonsense this morning. That was like so. I still didn't clean it up. It's on the floor. It is on the floor. I'm like, uh-uh. So I got to clean it up. I put a little barricade around it so that, um, so that, uh, let me show it to you. Hold on. It's very possible. You probably can't see it, but see it. And it looks so, it looks dirty and sticky. Because I was like, this looks like urine. What is, what is this? And I just put the mop bucket there and the uh, what's the majigam there so that uh, nobody would step on it because I went out to my garden. I didn't want somebody to come in and do that. But yeah, I had it right here because, you know, this is where I keep all of my fruits and vegetables. Well, not all of them, but, you know, this is my little fruit stand and vegetables and onions and stuff like that. And the watermelons was in, were in a box right here. 
it just oozed out its little life you guys but anyway that's enough of me let me know your tips your tips your tricks things you use and whatnot all right have a good day i love you all bye bye for now